Taylor Swift apparently wasn't able to get a judge to shake off her request to dismiss a plagiarism case relating to her 2014 song, Shake It Off, and now she's set to face a jury trial over the accusations. Let's get into it. A resolution for the ongoing plagiarism case between Taylor Swift and 2000's pop slash hip hop trio 3LW may finally see the light of day as Taylor is now set to face a jury trial over accusations that she plagiarized lyrics of her 2014 smash hit Shake It Off from the girl group's 2001 track Play Is Gonna Play. All you 90s babies might recall that 3LW is the group that Adrian Bailon and Keely Williams were a part of before joining the iconic Cheetah Girls shortly after their second and final single off their debut album Play Is Gonna Play was released. The band's other founding member, Naturi Naughton, was then replaced by Jessica Benson in 2002. However, the girls ceased to create more music after their first album. Now that we've got your history lesson out of the way for today, the case between 3LW and Taylor has been ongoing for years now, as it was revealed in 2018 that despite the fact that both songs feature similar variations of the lines Players Gonna Play and Haters Gonna Hate, the lawsuit was dismissed back in 2018. District Judge Michael W. Fitzgerald, who had dismissed the case at the time, explained that the lyrics were too banal to be copyrighted and cited 13 other songs from artists like Fleetwood Mac and the Notorious B.I.G. that featured similar phrasing. A year later, Players Gun Play songwriters Sean Hall and Nathan Butler appealed the ruling and called upon a jury trial and sought unspecified damages, to which a federal court reversed the decision in April of 2019. At the time the decision was reversed, a representative for Taylor said, these men are not the originators or creators of the common phrases players or haters or combinations of them. They did not invent these common phrases, nor are they the first to use them in a song. Her rep confidently stated that the true writers of Shake It Off, specifically Max Martin and Shellback, will prevail again, adding, Hall and Butler's claim is not a crusade for all creatives, it's a crusade for Mr. Hall's bank account. Earlier this week, the district judge who refused Taylor's request for a summary judgment said in a statement, even though there are some noticeable differences between the works, there are also significant similarities in word usage and sequence and structure. He added, the court cannot presently determine that no reasonable juror could find substantial similarity of lyrical phrasing, word arrangement, or poetic structure between the two work. He explained that experts put forward by Taylor made persuasive arguments, however, it wasn't enough for her to escape the case. Lawyers for Hall and Butler claimed that the courts did the right thing and gladly responded by stating that their clients can finally move forward to seek the justice they deserve. This unfortunately is not the first time Taylor has faced copyright claims over Shake It Off. In 2015, R&B singer Jesse Braham claimed that the track plagiarized his 2013 song, Haters Gonna Hate. At the time, he demanded $42 million in damages from Taylor and her team, but the lawsuit was eventually dismissed based on a lack of factual evidence. A date for the new trial has yet to be announced, but as always, we will keep you updated as more information becomes available. For more updates on Taylor, click right over here for another Clever News video. Then be sure to let me know all your thoughts in the comments about this plagiarism battle between Taylor and 3LW. For now, I'm your host, Carly Henderson. You can find me online at carlyhenderson underscore, and I'll catch you next time.